Alex Jones here reporting on historic events live from the Central Pacific Ocean. We are seeing history right now in, unfold right in front of our very eyes. We have seen McCabe, who ran the entire deep state criminal operation for Obama and Hillary, with 13 other Democrats, caught red-handed, ladies and gentlemen, organizing the entire Russiagate fraud, now begging for immunity before he testifies to Congress. And we've got uh, deep state globalist operatives like Trey Gowney, who's been obstructing the whole thing the entire time while giving good lip service. He's the guy that didn't want the documents coming over from justice, remember, claiming that Congress didn't have a right to see those and claiming that the Justice Department is even above the president and its own fourth branch of government, basically King McCabe, uh, King Rosenstein, King, you name it. King Mueller. But as we see now, Trump could have gotten rid of Mueller any time under the Constitution, but he let him run on for a long time so he would perjure himself, Comey would perjure himself to Congress, so they would continue to leak information, and so it would all come back to haunt them because Trump knew there was no Russia collusion by him. And now it just came out yesterday in the 500 pages of new text they were forced to release that they were running operations outside of the United States using Humet spies or outside CONUS continental United States, uh, to illegally spy on Trump in 2015. So that by using foreign spies, that wouldn't get snared and picked up uh, by the Justice Department or any other U.S. media here. It could be compartmentalized and carried out by the British. Now, that's a standard deal. When uh, the British government wants to assassinate its own citizens illegally, they use U.S. uh, forces uh, to do it. When the U.S. wants somebody to illegally spy on U.S. citizens, they use the British to do it and vice versa. U.S. kills Brits in illegal assassinations. Brits kill U.S. citizens in secret operations and spying. That's called the special relationship. That's in mainline best-selling books on spying. It's come out in the Frank Church Senate committee hearing meetings. We first reported this almost a year and a half ago. You remember Judge Napolitano came out on Fox, and he famously said that they were using British uh, assets uh, at GSGQ and their whole NSA-style system to spy on Trump as well. So that's all come out. That's how it works. We've been reporting the facts. We've been breaking it all down here. And the fact that this is all coming home to roost is really an amazing thing, as I said, in history, because they've perjured themselves to Congress. They've lied to the media. They've lied and put out false leaks. Those are criminal actions. They've been caught doing it, and they all got paid millions and millions of dollars from the Justice Department and from the FBI Clinton cabal to then give money to the threat Fusion GPS, Fusion GPS, so they could carry all this out. And now that it's mounting, and now that the indictments have reportedly, as I reported on a few weeks ago first, been readied uh, for McCabe, for Comey, and others, the noose is really, really tightening right now, and the establishment does not know what to do. They had hijacked this country criminally. They had taken this nation over criminally. They thought they were invincible. They thought that they would steal the election from Trump. When that didn't work, they went from their illegal spying operation, Spygate, being turned into Russiagate as a cover for what they were already doing. And now we find out all along it was Spygate much, much worse, thousands of times worse in in the sheer scale of it uh, than what we even saw with uh, the situation with Richard Nixon and the Watergate burglary and all the rest of it. So the question is, what will they do now as all of this begins to come out? Well, they're panicking. Remember all the mainstream media lying about me? and saying that I was the source of President Trump's information about spying and that I was the source of it being foreign spying and that I was the source of all this stuff. I wasn't the source. I knew what their operations were because they were bragging about it before Trump even got elected. They were bragging about it after, saying he'll never actually get into office. We're going to block his inauguration. We're going to block the delegates using the Russia information we have and the Pissgate dossier, which, again, was fake that they paid for. And so they thought they'd actually have him unseated, and they thought they would have already gotten rid of him. But now he's been in, been in office a year and a half. Uh, things are getting better. Things are turning around. Their lies are coming out. And, and the credibility of places like CNN and MSNBC is in the toilet, and their ratings are down the toilet. And this is just really an amazing time. The problem is these people are cornered rats. Their backs are against the wall. They're all going to go to prison if they can't turn this around. So what would you do if you were them? And the answer is the sky's the limit. So folks need to – got some sunscreen in my eye. Folks need to understand 
that this is a critical juncture in history. We should be praying for Trump, praying for America, praying for Enforce, praying for peace, praying for discernment, and just be aware and focused and know what's happening because Hollywood and the pedo pope and the communist Chinese are all allied with the globalists, with the big tech companies to try to take down this country. They've been so desperate, they're even listing all Republicans, you know, as Nazis to try to steal the election in 2018. Google's been caught doing that, and it's all just disintegrating. So we've been totally vindicated, totally validated that they were illegally spying, just as we said, that they had lied to Congress, that they had paid for the fake dossier to cover up all their real Russia and Chinese sellout operations, and that history is happening right now. And there is a literal ocean of people out there that are awake and know what's happening. There's also an ocean of folks that aren't awake, but they're becoming disillusioned as they realize they've been lied to and as they realize the economy is turning around. So Trump is winning, InfoWars is winning, you are winning, but the battle is still raging. Uh, And again, the fact that they illegally spied, the fact that they tried to make all this up, the fact that they try to admit they were spying but spin it like it really wasn't spying shows how stupid they think we are and shows why it's all blowing up in their face. All right, that's it for this live transmission. I've got another special report coming out later about people confronting Bill Clinton all over the country about uh, child trafficking, confirmed child trafficking, just shocking stuff uh, coming out that they're trying to smoke screen as well. They use pedophilia to control people and to compromise them. This is the glue that kind of welds their whole evil program together. And so there's going to be a big special report coming out in the next few hours on that as well at InfoWars.com and NewsWars.com. And if people confront these globalists, not just the Clintons, everywhere they go about this, it will actually dwarf the Me Too movement, but also help women who are being oppressed as well. Because it's far worse than just women being harassed and abused. It's, It's raped, it's killed, it's children, it's men being hurt. This is what Hollywood's all about. It's very, very satanic. Jack Parsons, they got movies coming out about it, glamorizing it all right now. See, they're trying to normalize all this right now because they know humanity's awakening, but they're in a race that they're losing. So, again, it's about good versus evil, and the good news is this whole cabal's coming down. The good news is this whole program is being exposed. What's been hidden is being brought to light, uh, and, boy, have we been vindicated in spades. So thank you all for the support. Great job, everybody. And, again, more reports coming today to NewsWars.com and InfoWars.com. Please get this past the censors. Please share this video, and please feel free to upload it on all your channels. Thank you.